Alright, so I recently found this old spoon display at a second hand shop. As you can see it's got small grooves um, cut away in the bits of wood along the inside which would have had uh, spoons displayed in it at some point but uh, when I came across it it was completely empty. It was only four dollars which was pretty good. As you can see it has a small brass latch on the side there which opens up and uh, that's where you would place the spoons right in there. So first step obviously was to give it a bit of a clean down, it was quite dirty and dusty from being out of use for however long. And then try and remove that Vinnie's label with some eucalyptus oil and the back side of a knife. So my first idea was to fill in the crevices uh, with just wood putty, but then I remembered I had some of this leftover red felt from a previous project, uh, so I thought I'd utilize that. And this felt is just uh, $5 a meter from Spotlight. Obviously the felt doesn't exactly match that of the frame, but uh, it's a pretty close match and it will do for me. Now just using an air duster, I'm just going to remove some of the dust from the inside of the frame to clean it up a little bit more. Now I don't need this to be exactly perfect, so I'm just going to fold the felt over the wooden inserts and mark out a line with a permanent marker. As you can see there, I put a few dots down to guide the scissors, and then it was time to cut it out. Now that that's cut, I'll just check that it fits in place and get out the hot glue gun. Alright, so first along the top of the insert. Then quickly put the felt on before the glue cools down. Then once again along the top, I'm not going to worry too much about those cutouts and the wood, uh, the felt will cover those up quite nicely. And then again on the bottom side, and just fold that over. And then just repeating that in the middle, insert, putting some dots on the felt and then cutting it out. And then once again getting the glue gun and running along the top of the insert. And then filling in the edges and cutting off any excess felt. Then finally the third insert there being marked out. And once again, putting down some glue on all three sides and fastening the felt on. And there we go, all done. Now time to put some relics in there. I didn't choose a specific topic for this one, I just grabbed a few items that I thought would look nice. Now to hang it up on the wall. First thing to do is put a nail in the wall and then attach some fishing line to the hanging points at the top two corners of the frame. I did double the fishing line over just to make sure it wouldn't fall. After hanging it, I did put two pins in the hanging hooks because I didn't really trust that fishing line too much. Then there we go, all done. A wall mounted relic display for about $4.10.